Hey all my adventurers, you know it's your girl Amanda. Welcome back. If you're new here, just hit that subscription button. If you've been with me from the beginning, I thank you so much. This is the last vlog that I'll be doing on Sandals. This is Sandals Montego Bay. Remember, if you haven't seen part one, that is Sandals Royal Caribbean part one and part two, then please, after watching this vlog, go ahead and check it out, all right? So, as mentioned before, in previous vlogs, I stayed at Sandals Royal Caribbean, but when you stay at Sandals Royal Caribbean, you have access to Sandals Montego Bay, which is like a five to eight minutes drive from Sandals Royal Caribbean. So, I mean, that's a beautiful thing. So, if you guys book Sandals Montego Bay or Sandals Royal Caribbean, that means you have access to both of these hotels. So, I, of course, <laughs> gonna make the most of the opportunity. So, we came over Sandals Montego Bay. For breakfast as well as the beach because the beach at sandals montego bay is way better than the beach that is at sandals royal, royal caribbean sorry all right oh guys also follow me over on instagram and tiktok all right now for those who don't know sandals montego bay this was the very first sandals so this is where it started montego bay gave birth to sandals right and they have this small plaque which is in the lobby area that lets you know that this is where it all began all right so that was the lobby area and i'm still in the lobby area so as you enter the lobby area they have a little front desk of course for you to get information you know i just wanted to get my bearings um, but the lobby was very nice also to note montego bay was recently renovated so it's brand new like it's the basically it's the newest sandals basically because they renovated all of it and even just being on the property you can see that it has been renovated so i got my information the guy was leading me around to where the breakfast area is um yeah it's that game right there in the corner this one right here what is it called this game right here they had it in the lobby area so obviously it's a good entertainment piece i've never played it obviously because i don't really know the name either but anyways back to what i'm talking about food you know your girl is a foodie I'm heading to the buffet area for breakfast and there's also a restaurant upstairs where you could dine and have breakfast that's actually where I had breakfast the latter not the former but I had to show you guys the buffet area so they had Kalaloo right I feel like Kalaloo is almost um, for a Jamaican buffet area they also had this scrambled eggs which was in tomato it just looked wet it looked wet and nasty mm, it never looked like it tastes nice they had hash browns <laughs> right they also had sausages they also had bacon fried bread fruit boiled eggs pretty much the same thing like what they had in the buffet area over by sandals royal caribbean now if i haven't mentioned it before i'm gonna say it now or again <laughs> depending on if i said it before um they have 12 restaurants over here at sandals montego bay right while over by sandals royal caribbean they have nine restaurants so that's 21 restaurants in total and you can go back and forth for any one of them whichever resort resort you stay you know as long as you have a reservation obviously so you can dine for breakfast lunch or dinner when you stay at eat either hotel so again that's a bonus when picking um the sandals here in montego bay whether this one or royal caribbean is that you have access to both properties right and like i said i mean montego bay is recently renovated so it just makes sense to book the newer hotel because you pretty much have access to um royal caribbean now i did not go into a room so there won't be a room tour and obviously i never went into a room because like i said i'm just passing through over here because i'm staying at royal caribbean but for I figure more or less it looks just the, the rooms over by Montego Bay probably look just like the one over by Royal Caribbean that I got but anyways this is a dining area so you can see it's big it's spacious and there's also a deck on the outside so if you want to dine outside then you can dine outside so I'm just doing a little property tour I guess I'm trying to get as much as I can for the vlog to show you guys you know doing my due diligence and so on and as i mentioned before this restaurant would lead out onto the deck you know i have a nice view right on the beach now guys remember i well i mentioned in the last vlog that there's a giveaway that is being put on by boundless shore travel serve agency and they are giving away a night for two at ocean eden bay resort which is an adults only all-inclusive resort right 
you know of course to enter the competition there's a couple of things you have to do this is the fly up so you have to first you have to follow me on instagram subscribe to my channel share this video and for the rest of the instructions i'm gonna put the flyer at the end of this vlog so you guys have to stick around to the end all right now you can see it opens up right onto the beach you know and this is the deck area that you know they have the the bar area right here now this bar area is i think placed perfectly because right behind this is actually the lobby area where i just showed a while ago and then you know you just saw the restaurant where there's a deck and so it's a good position to put the bar area but now we're going upstairs for breakfast like i said we decided to dine at one of the restaurant i don't know the name of this restaurant to be very honest um i think that's it right there i don't know that what does that say cochina you know what? I'm not even going to try. <laughs> I'm not even going to try. I'm going to leave it alone. But you, you go upstairs, you know, you're greeted by the hostess. They seat you and then they come, they bring you the menu and then they bring out the food. Now, what I will say, I decided to order some Jamaican breakfast because, you know, that's what I'm used to. Um but the the time oh sorry this is the this is the menu you can pause the screen and look at it but i also have the signature jamaican breakfast and that's what i got so this is it right here fried dumpling plantains cabbage carrot excavate fish and it was so good oh it was so good um uh, person i was looking at had waffles with eggs and hash browns that was good as well the only issue i had was the wait time took a while for the food to come up i figured they made it from scratch because it was so good so it was okay even though it took a while now this is the little i guess i don't know i feel like every hotel does have one of these little areas where you can go and get a quick sweet treat get a quick coffee it's called cafe de paris so it's supposed to give you like this french feel to it for the most part they had ice cream you know muffins croissant you know all of those are the sweet treats for anybody who has a sweet tooth so you can have it all the time now for the rest of the property this is one of the pool area obviously what i did like about this pool area was these cabanas right here which were accessible to everyone so sometimes you see these cabanas and they're usually reserved which means like you know you have to be like um you know club privilege or something of that sort that wasn't the case right here and you know there's a jacuzzi right here in the middle that everybody has access to so i really appreciated the cabanas i really went there i spent any time but <laughs> they looked very comfortable right uh, moving right along this sandal sign is such a beautiful sign a very picturesque area for people to go and take pictures speaking of pictures guys remember to head over to my instagram right follow me on instagram like the pics over there share them with your friends and also follow me on tiktok all right now this is the obviously it would be the entertainment area they have a pool table there's also a table tennis um table right there over in the distance you can see the basketball court um similar to Royal Caribbean. However, Royal Caribbean does not have a basketball court. So if you're somebody that loves to play basketball, then obviously you want to go by Montego Bay. And that's Cornhole. This area right here looks big enough for like if they're going to do any weddings, you know, they can set up the area for people to be outside to dine and so on. Um, there's also a... Um, I can't recall the name of this area, but it would have been the area where you can go and get like burgers, hot dogs, quesadilla, and all of that. Pretty much the seafront or the beachfront, I should say, restaurant. Um, while, we're, while I was walking, I saw that one of the workers was painting the bar stool at the bottom of the bar stool. And I'm telling you, everywhere you went around Sanders, around the property, you just saw people maintaining the property. And I thought that was very good. I mean, yes, it's a hotel, so people are going to do that. But just in general, people should always set funds aside for maintenance right i always tell people it doesn't matter what you're doing maintenance is very important spiritual maintenance physical maintenance emotional maintenance sexual maintenance all of it is very important anyways this is the tree right here is i call it sea grapes because when they're red they're very sweet and it is just like grapes i don't know the current name if you know the current name for that tree you can just put it in the comments below so that i can learn it <laughs> Because ever since I've been in high school and I learned about it, that's what I call, I call it sea grapes. I also have a beach volleyball area. So if it is that you guys want to play beach volleyball, then 
again sandals montego bay is it they have the chest set one is also over by sandals royal caribbean and the shuffleboard so you know like similar stuff um except for the basketball court and the actual beach volleyball area so obviously this is pretty much like the entertainment area for day activities this is where you guys would go they also had a lot of standing shovels just randomly placed throughout and this is how it would look when you turn on a pipe this was new to me i've never seen anything like it but this is how it was over royal caribbean as well um yeah so for the rest of the property they had a lot of these villa types and i guess yeah i guess they're villas like this one looks very luxurious obviously i didn't get to go inside any of them but you can see that they have the tub on the balcony and you know just outside is giving that vibe same again with this one right here they looked like houses on <laughs> the property so obviously these are different from the standard hotel rooms that you will have um again I, I'm, I'm i believe more than likely these were villas um more than likely these one would come with butler service again i did not ask and i never got the chance to go inside but this is just me speculating and just going off based on what i saw over by sandals royal caribbean as well but again the best way to find out is to call bookings i guess look this is another shower area right here so they had multiple of them placed throughout which i really appreciated right and then these are um this building right here this is the newer side obviously so they have swim up room so this look right here is basically what the high grove building over by royal caribbean look like you know the swim up rooms the um the tub on the balconies these one had the umbrellas over by royal caribbean i don't recall there being an umbrella and you know people are hard at work you know the lifeguard is over there is hard at work as usual as long as all of the other staff were always hard at work right so this is their jerk shack um, you'll find that most hotels in Jamaica will have a jerk shack. Again, it wasn't open as yet, so I never got the chance to taste it. So I can't even tell you whether or not it was, you know, like good jerk chicken or not. But just know that there's a jerk shack available as well. And again, you didn't have to go as far like with Sandals Royal Caribbean. This is a nice little jacuzzi area right here. Also, guys, if you're coming to Jamaica and you're looking for a tour guide, you know, you want to leave the resort and do something like rafting with a limestone foot massage or ATV, ride some jet ski, whatever it is that you think you would want to do and leave the resort, just hit me up. I provide transportation. I'll be a tour guide. You know, I do it all, right? So don't, f don't hesitate to send me a DM on Instagram or able to email me. Now, there's an this is another swim up building. You can see this one is bigger right and everybody was just lounging around so again i like this one right here so we're gonna move out to the beach area right now all right i'm not sure if i said it already but it, it doesn't matter i'm saying it again sandals montego bay has the better beach the sandals royal caribbean beach was not it there was a lot of seaweed in it um you know the people they wrecked out the seaweed so you know you could have a good beach but i mean ain't nobody coming on vacation you know to see a beach with seaweed and to to rake out seaweed and all of that you know you just want to wake see the beach and walk out and go to the beach plus the beach over here is bigger but before i go down on the beach i just want to show you guys this new bar the over water bar that they have it's called the latitude bar and it also has the the little nets that you can lounge in and so on so they had multiple bar areas and i can just see out here being a whole vibe you know if you are here well i know sometimes is more most of a honeymoon thing but even if you're here with like a group of people and you guys want to you know come out here and just make this your spot and you know just party chill with the bartender and all of that then amazing and it's a good place for pictures trust me again check them out on instagram you won't be disappointed but i'm gonna go down so you guys can see just from this clip that the beach spans a greater length than over by Sanders Royal Caribbean. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then that simply means you're going to have to check out the vlog. And these are the hammocks. Now, guys, you see, I'm not lie. I'm not lie to you. it was a challenge going in this hammock, you know. I actually went in it and then I came out and I went back in. So it, you know, me, me <laughs> when, when I was trying to go in it the first time and it was difficult, um without it was recorded and it wasn't recorded but the second time around I, I, I understood so you know it's not being shown right here but it's kind of hard to go in but all in all once you get in there you just lay back and relax you know you're good i love a good hammock 
Listen, I love a good hammock. I don't care if it's mesh, you know, if it's cloth, you know, or if it's just a piece of something tied between two trees. I'm all here for it. Again, guys, follow me over on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to this video. I'm trying to see if I can reach 10K by the end of the year. And I can only get there with you guys' support. Oh, the Jamaican flag. Love that flag. I love how it was at the front of all of the other flags. You know, as Jamaicans, we have this pride that is different from anywhere else. I promise you that almost everywhere in Jamaica, you can go, you'll see a Jamaica flag. I traveled to Costa Rica, to Mexico, to the Bahamas, and there were barely any flags being flown in the air. So every time I see a Jamaican flag, you know, you just have to give a little salute. Anywho, back to the beach. I digress, you know, a little Jamaican pride to Cuba. Nothing wrong with that, but anywho. They have the thatched roof umbrellas as well as thatched roof um, cabanas which are in the water. So these cabanas, as you can see, it says sandals and it says reserved. So, you know, I guess not everybody had access to these right here, which were right in the water. We're almost at the end, guys. Please just ensure you watch this to the end. Um, up next, we have, I'm going to show you some of the different restaurants as well as the spa area. Now, I know I mentioned the trip for two all-inclusive all paid to the adults own resort ocean eden bay right now this right here is the poster to fly out and this is what you have to do to enter so you can just pause it read it and that's pretty much it all right now i'm gonna get back to the rest of the vlog as i mentioned they had a hobby they have um kayaking they have paddleboard you know i think they might have scuba diving over here as well but i'm not 100 percent sure but i know for a fact that it's over by sandals royal caribbean all right now again it's just a walking tour showing you guys the property and this is the famous butch steak and seafood restaurant so never got a chance to dine here but i wish i did um from what everybody has told me and even some of the staff this is one of the better restaurants um, I tried to go in, but it was very much closed. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm just showing you guys outside. So, obviously, there's, you can have outside dining. And I'm pretty sure the ambience inside would be good. You know, I'm pretty sure it would match the outside. Because, like I say, you can you can clearly tell that this hotel um, was recently renovated. Right? And, guys, this is the flyer. Um, this is the information that you guys can look at. You know, enter the competition. Like I said, I won my trip to Sandals from entering a uh, competition on IG. Who's to say you won't be that lucky winger, winner? <laughs> LOL, my apologies. Who's to say you won't be that lucky winner, right? Now I'm heading over to the spa area. I must say the, the landscape of the property, beautiful. Beautiful. And I'm somebody that will always appreciate, appreciate the greenery and um all of that so like you know you have to come in on it when you see it right i was a clip where the gardener was hard at work i hope they're paying them the amount that they really should be getting because the the greenery and the the, the lawn and all of that at sandals was well done now this is a spa area it's called a red lane spa it's the same over by royal caribbean obviously this is the um the company that you know sandals work with and then this is the gym inside the gym all of the equipment were new every single last one of the equipment in the gym was brand new right typical gym you know you're gonna have a treadmill you're gonna have your free weights you know you're gonna have you know the little balls in the corner you're gonna have you know and they had um oh what's that they had the ellipticals yes but they also had a towel area and an area with um cucumber infused water yes only the good things them when you go when you stay at standards only the good things them again guys like this video share this video you know tell a friend to tell a friend about this video you know if you're thinking of coming to sandals you know let them check out some of the other videos you know subscribe hit me up if you're looking for a tour guide or you're looking for transportation if you're looking for somewhere new to go in and around Montego Bay then I'm your girl and this concludes this video my next set of video will be the costa rica videos i know i started it and i paused it but i'm going back to it and i went to costa rica and i truly enjoyed it so you don't want to miss those so you just have to hit the subscription button if you already hit the subscription button be sure to turn on post notifications i thank you so much for watching